Hey everybody, James here again with you, and today I'm going to show you the biggest misconception there is to brake barrel air guns. With that said, you see two boxes right here, and they state the velocity of the rifles. You got to be careful because when you go to the store to look at these or purchase one, as most of us do, you get snagged on that number right there. And these rifles right here are not that powerful, but you see some there at the store that are rated at 1200 or 1400 feet a second. They do not shoot that fast. You got to be careful because it says right here, that number is with an alloy pellet. Well, unless you're shooting alloy, you're never going to reach those velocities. Most likely, you probably picked up a pellet that was close by the gun at that store if you purchased one, and they are lead. And more times than not, it's probably a Crossman hollow point or some other readily available pellet. And these are lead pellets, 14.3 grain and 22 cal. Now, with that said, that 14.3 grain 22 cal pellet does not shoot these velocities. I have my chronograph right here. Just got a Crossman Premier 14.3 hollow point loaded up in this Gamo Swarm Whisper, only rated for 1,000 FPS using alloy. So here we go. That pellet, guys, only went 715 feet a second. Now, let's try an alloy pellet. Like it says on the box, alloy at 1,000 feet a second. Well, what I have here is Predator GTO's 11.75 grain alloy pellets. These pellets are one of the lightest alloy 22 calibers out there. Here we go. All right, so with one of the lightest alloy pellets out there, guys, it only shot 801. So with that said, I'm here to tell you that these claims on the boxes don't ever pay attention to them. Now, obviously, if the number is higher, it is gonna be a more powerful air gun. So you know, these two air rifles here are pretty equal because they're both rated around 1,000 feet a second with alloy. Now, when you get up to 1,200 feet a second or 1,400 feet a second rating, that's all that is, is a rating, they will be more powerful than these two guns, obviously. But other than that, as you've seen here, that these guns do not shoot as advertised. They don't put the lead numbers on there for the lead pellets. They want to use that as a selling point, which a lot of us have bought air rifles because of that, and they're not true. Very rarely are they ever true, especially with the brake barrel air guns. Before I end the video, I'm going to shoot this Ruger Impact Max Elite with the 14.3 grain Crossman hollow point, just to show you. Since this one is rated at 1,050 feet a second with alloy and 22 cal, That only went 714, guys. Let's try the alloy. 11.75 grain. Again, these are like the lightest lead and one of the lightest alloy pellets out there. Seven eighty-five. See, they are nowhere near what their advertised velocities are. So if you're looking at purchasing a brake barrel air gun just because you see a number on here and think that it's more powerful or just as powerful as a 22 rimfire rifle, don't, don't believe that number. I'm here to tell you, it is not true. And like I said, the only numbers you need to worry about is when there's a difference between the numbers, meaning that the air gun is gonna be more powerful than the next one. And that's the only thing that means. I hate when they put this on the box because then people believe that their gun shoots that, and that is not true at all. For the ones that don't know, obviously, us air gunners know this, but 
for the ones that are looking to get into the air gunning and brake barrel was their option, they fell for that number. So anyways, I just wanted to share this quick little video with you guys showing you what these guns do with one of the lightest lead pellets and one of the lightest alloy pellets out there on the market and compare it to the claims that they say on the box again which is the biggest misconception there is in the air gun world so i appreciate you watching as always and i hope to see you guys on the next one